I am Nei Wang from the School of Economics and Management of China Three Gorgeous University. I'm honored that our paper will researching digital technology really empower green development received the most cited article award of international research excellence and citation awards this paper was written by me in collaboration with yang yang chen and thomas stephen ramsay of three gorgeous university and jeffrey hewins of the University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. I have made the substantial contribution to the conception and design of the work. The acquisition, analysis, and interpretation of data for the work, and I have drafted the work and revised it critically for important intellectual content. Yang Yang Chen has my important contributions to impulse response analysis, correlation analysis, and comprehensive effects evaluation. Thomas Stephen Ramsay has contributed to grammatical correction list and paper writing. Jeffrey Hewins has contributed a lot in study design and responding to the comments of reviewers. The information industry has become a new engine driving the growth of the world economy. According to the data from China Academy of Information and Communications Technology, the total digital economy of G20 countries reached 26.60 US dollar trillion in 2017, an increase of 8.64% from 2016 significantly ahead of gross domestic product growth rate over the same period. The emergency and popularization of information industry is commonly deemed societally and economically. However, there are many controversies about whether Digital technology can reduce the intensity of carbon emissions. Some research argues that information industrial would improve the environment through closed industrial technology spillover, changing the industrial structure from manufacturing to services and technology empowerment, thereby changing the energy consumption. On the other hand, some scholars believe that the development of information industry would not reduce carbon emissions after concerns about the environmental consequences caused by the manufacturing and operation and the logistics of the information industry. Since the total carbon emissions of the world information industry itself stabilized at 180 million tons after reaching its peak, which has not been reduced with the technology innovation of the information industry. We have sorted out more than 100 literature and the relationship between digital technology innovation and green development and put forward four hypotheses. First of all, the direct effects of digital technology innovation on the carbon emissions. The hypothesis one is formed. The national carbon emission intensity is positively influenced by the technology innovation of information industrial itself. Secondly, 
the indirect effects of digital technology innovation on carbon emissions. This paper proposed the second hypothesis, the cross-border and cross-industrial technology spillovers. Collectively, affects the domestic carbon emissions, carbon emission intensity. Thirdly, the comprehensive impact of digital technology innovation on the domestic emission intensity. We tested the third hypothesis, the comprehensive impact of digital technology innovation negatively affects the domestic carbon emission intensity. Last but not least, we analyzed the mechanism of digital technology innovation affecting carbon emission intensity. This paper proposes the mechanism hypothesis increasing the proportion of non-fossil energy used is one of the mechanisms for digital technology innovation to reduce the domestic carbon emission intensity. Optimizing the industrial structure is another mechanism for digital technology innovation to reduce the domestic carbon emission intensity. In this paper, the research method and model construction Section use the KPWW method and input and output analysis of environmental expansion to construct indicators such as technologically satisfaction index, technology spillover, and carbon emission intensity of information industrial. When designing the model, not only, not only the influ influence of technology innovation of the information industrial on the domestic carbon emission intensity was considered, but also the carbon emission reduction effects of the corals industrial and cross further technology spillover from the information industrial was discussed. Since Grossman believed that the relationship between economic activity and the environment include three aspects, scale effect, structural effect, and technological effect, we emphatically Consider the, the scale effect, such as information scale, economic losses caused by carbon emissions and outward foreign direct investment as the supplement to the technical effect and structural effect. The empirical analysis section examines the impact of digital technology innovation on carbon emission intensity in 64 economies. The benchmark regression model and robustness test the confirm the theoretical hypothesis that the information industry itself is not an environment friendly industrial. The spillover of domestic technology to domestic upstream and downstream industrials is a feasible path for carbon emission reduction, industrial structure upgrading, and energy consumption structure improvement are the key mechanisms for digital technology innovation to reduce carbon emission intensity. Based on the completely opposite results of direct and indirect effects it is necessary for further analysis the combined effects digital technology on carbon emission intensity. 
In the further analysis part, impulse response analysis is first used to compile the strengths of direct effects and indirect effects, and the comprehensive effects are obtained. The results show that the carbon emission reduction effect, the indirect effect of technology spillover, is greater than the emission increase effect, the direct effect of technology innovation in the information industry. Therefore, it is feasible to empower green development with the help of digital technology innovation. Then the heterogeneity analysis further reveals a feasible and robust pace for OECD countries and non-OECD economies to promote carbon emission reduction through digital technology innovation. It is heterogeneous for the direct and indirect effects of digital technology innovation on the national carbon emission intensity. Although the information industry itself is not an environmentally friendly industry. The information industry has reduced the carbon emission intensity through cross-industrial and cross-border technology empowerment as a whole. The combined impacts of digital technology innovation and technology spill over reduces carbon emission intensity at the country level. The domestic background and forward of the indirect effects have the most prominent emission reduction results, which have the largest contribution rates among the five external factors that affect carbon emission intensity and provide a concrete path for reducing the carbon emission intensity. The above conclusion shows that the benefits of digital technology innovation are less than hoped for, especially the carbon emission reduction effects of international technology spillovers are not robust. Based on this, when one country attempts to take, a look, take advantage of the concrete path for reducing the carbon emission intensity, the country led to increase R&D investment and introduction of intellectual property to promote the technological certification index of domestic information industry. What's more, it is necessary to strengthen domestic industrial linkage and unblock the upstream and downstream value chance to promote the spillover from digital technology to other industries in the country. The adjustment of industrial structure and energy consumption structure are key mechanisms for the technology innovation of information industrial to reduce carbon emission intensity. Countries and regions where the energy structure is dominated by fossil fuels, such as petroleum and coal, have higher carbon emissions per unit of value added, while the develop development of the information industry needs to consume a large amount of energy, the empowerment of the information industrial is conducive to reducing the proportion of fossil fuels in the energy consumption structure in order to reduce the, the intensity of carbon emissions. The European countries continue to optimize their energy consumption structure, which strive to complete 
the boundment of coal and the nuclear power by the year of 2030. This has a certain blueprint and enlightenment for emerging countries such as China, whose energy consumption structure is dominated by coal, reducing the proportion of heavy industry and increasing the proportion of service industry is another mechanism for technology innovation and information industry to reduce the intensity of carbon emissions and increase in the proportion of the service industry will significantly reduce the carbon emission intensity of one country. Development countries transfer assembly, processing, and manufacturing linkages to developing countries and maintain R&D, marketing, and other service linkages by governing the global value chain, which greatly reduces their own environmental pressure. Digital technology innovation promotes a carbon emission reduction mechanism that promotes the service-oriented industrial structure so that we see the hope of breaking through the zero-sum game strategy of the pollution-having hypothesis compiled to OECD countries with developing service industrials and reasonable energy consumption structure. Emerging economies, including China, enjoy less significantly emission reduction effects from digital technology spill over. The obvious difference is in the level of digital technology between development countries and emerging con economies. Only when a country's economic development reaches a certain level can the emission reduction potential empowered by digital technology be fully released. This is bound to cause the metal effect on the level of green development. Therefore, all countries should follow the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities, which are according to national conditions and capabilities in order to maximize actions. Develop the countries should earnestly increase the proportion of digital technology support to emerging economies.